not a film that's frustrated me. I had high expectations for it. It's not that it didn't live up to it, and it's not the only thing that frustrated me. Uh, the circumstances frustrated me about Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, the new Luc Besson film that is also, I'm just going to start off by saying this right now, it is both the most expensive European film ever made and independent film ever made. It's with a production budget between 177 and 209 million, also the equivalent of 179 uh, million euros because this is a European, this is a French production too. So this is a very intriguing movie. First off, what disappoints me about this movie is that it had to open the same weekend as Dunkirk, uh, the Christopher Nolan's film. Because not only does that take away uh, people from seeing this movie who otherwise would have, but it also took away a lot of ability for this movie to be seen on these larger screens and these larger screens and these larger DCP, uh, you know, rooms and stuff like that, that will be, that, that, that would, that it would, that it loans itself to be seen on. You really need to see uh, this film, that you really need to see this film on that kind of a big screen. So Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets stars Dane DeHaan and Cara, and I butcher this name in advance, Cara Delvanine. The, the movie is basically set in the 28th century on a spaceship known as Alpha, where millions of creatures from dever, several different races and species uh, live, try to live peacefully with one another, uh, and try to you know get a vast array of knowledge and culture as a result. Uh, the film revolves around Valerian and Laura Lean, played by DeHaan and Delvanine, respectively. They are two uh, time traveling Asians that are trying to assure Alpha's safety as Alpha has already uh, reached capacity and is being threatened uh, by is being threatened by a certain uh, shape shifting commander, if you will, uh, played by Cl uh, played by Clive Owen. In addition to another very ugly captain slash criminal, uh, this almost Boba Fett-like character voiced by John Goodman. They meet an assortment of very strange characters like this very uh, caricaturized pimp played by Heath and Hawk, uh, shape-shifting, entertaining, entertainer, kind of exotic dancer played by Rihanna, who's an amazing character in this film. Far too little screen time, if I do say so myself. But... Overall, though, the thing, the issue that I have with Valerian, well, let's talk about the positives. I take that back. Let's talk about the positives, accentuate the positives a little bit with Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. This is one of the best looking films I've ever seen. This is a visually jaw dropping movie. Up there with the beautiful and idiosyncratic qualities of the Jupiter Ascending, which was not a good movie, and Cloud Atlas, which was a very good movie. This movie is so colorful, so dynamic, so visually diverse that it is almost unbelievable the fact how incredible this movie can look. I talked a couple weeks back. If you go on the highlights of the show on YouTube, if you YouTube Sleepless with Steve, uh, you will find this. I do talk about Valerian as a movie that had a lot of box office negativity and unfortunate polling going into it. Uh, the fact that it's so high budgeted, even though it is on the hook, uh, it is not on the hook for a lot of uh, its budget. It made its money back largely through uh, back backdoor deals. I know that sounds weird, but a lot of uh, just kind of pre-sales uh, with the uh, French movie making and stuff like that with the French filmmaking industry made a lot of its money back that way. But the film really does uh, have possess this very great visual quality that I think is gonna that I think has made it so expensive, and I think that has made it so uh, astronomically against trying to ma uh, make its money back. Besson quoted in saying that this movie needs to make th at least three hundred fifty to four hundred million worldwide to break even and even justify a sequel. Uh, it's not gonna do that. This movie's probably gonna cl close out about three hundred million, I would think, because the film is based on Valerian and Laura Lean, which. Uh, which is a graphic novel. It is based off a French graphic novel. So there is source material tied to it. 
but it's dated source material that goes back way too far really to be relevant. Same problem happened with the American version of Lone Ranger. It's source material that's no pun intended, very foreign in America, doesn't really have much clout. You know what I mean? And I think the other problem is too, is that, you know, I went back and I read a little bit of Valerian over the week, over the weekend before I saw, or yeah, over the week before I saw this film. And you know what? I think this movie's pretty miscast. I think the fact that you have a sci-fi movie this expensive, this unique in a lot of ways, rest on the lacking charisma and chemistry between Dane DeHaan and Cara Delvin is very unfortunate. Dane DeHaan was pretty good wellness. He was even better in Chronicle. He is not a swaggering space cadet. Cara Delvinin, I don't believe, is that great of an actress. I think she now has a bit of a filmography uh, that we can judge her on. She was in Suicide Squad. She was in Chantress. She was in the film Paper Towns, which I go back on saying was awful, was a terrible picture. But Maybe it's not her fault. She was a model before the film, okay? She was a model before her film career really started taking off in 2012. Maybe she's being cast like a model, really, and she's yet to be given a role that really shows what she can do. She hasn't really shown me much, and that's unfortunate. But Dane DeHaan has... And an angsty teen, which is he is great playing, isn't the role he was destined to play in Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. There's a lot of good in this movie. Like I said, the idiosyncratic characters are awesome. The character that Rihanna plays, again, Bubble, is very cool. And the effects, like I said before, the visual effects, I make no qualms in saying it's one of the best-looking movies I've ever seen. But I'm not going to go into why I think this movie is such a financial risk. You can go back and look at the highlights on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you want more details on that, I go into a lot of specifics. But the disappointing aspect of this movie is that you got to, it's anchored by two leads that I don't believe are cut out for this material. And it's also just the fact that this movie is so convoluted and the storyline which is pretty simple but it's told like i said in a very confusing manner takes away from the world that this film is set in this movie is so diverse so unique made and so uniquely shot and there's so many different characters and worlds the film is the film opens to uh a great montage scored by uh david bowie's song space oddity and then follows up with almost an avatar like immersive setting about these aliens and how they must escape their own habitat two technically two amazing opening scenes that are then kind of squandered their potential squandered by a film that meanders way too much understandably but flaw but but mistakenly tries to include way too much tries to include the sequel in the in the first movie too because like i said let's be honest valerian's not getting a sequel i'm sorry and then couple that with the fact too again that the leads completely lack charisma this is a very gr terrific movie visually it deserves to be seen in the theaters but i cannot wholeheartedly recommend valerian in the city of a thousand planets i give it two and a half stars out of four uh technically a c plus on influx magazine's grade b minus c plus i kind of flirt between ask me uh ask me in the morning ask me when i wake up in the morning uh what or you know what side of the bed i fall under with that uh with my rating on this film but like i said it deserves to be seen it's an interesting movie it's got a lot of diversity in it that i like a lot a lot of visual diversity i really go after but it is not a great motion picture and it is one of the most disappointing films of the year